To go in the dark with the light is to know the light. To know the dark, go dark. Go without sight and find that the dark, too, blooms and sings and is traveled by dark feet and dark wings. Wendell Berry Find and dwell in your own rich stillness. Release what no longer serves you. Make space for what wants to be born. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in each other. From Starhawk. Solstice is a time for magic, for linking our intentions with symbols and images that channel energy to bring them about. Symbolically, the Great Mother goes into labor tonight to bring forth the child of light, the new sun, the new era, the new day. We support her efforts with our gatherings, our chants, our songs, our ceremonies, and the real work we each do, our own labors towards the great turning. Change always requires sacrifice, letting go of something, if only our old destructive ways. But every loss, every emptiness, opens the way for something new to be born. In the darkness, the seed takes root, and the new sprout pushes towards the light. In the dark of the womb, the spark of light is kindled. Out of the longest night, the new day is born. So let this solstice be a time when we put all our intentions towards the change and draw forth the strength, the courage, and the determination to bring the new world into being. A world where we know that we are not separate, but connected. We are not the masters of the world, but nature's children, her partners, her healers. The currency we strive for is not money or power, but love. We are creative, magical, and radiant beings. And when we link our hearts, our vision, and our actions together, as the wheel of the year turns, we can indeed turn the world around. Welcome. We are here at the turning point of the sun in relationship to the earth, approaching the deepest darkness we will experience this year in the Northern Hemisphere. We hover here, and then, finally, we turn to the light. This year, we are experiencing profound and unusual series of astrological events. On December 14th, 2020, we had a total solar eclipse, visible in the Southern Hemisphere. This has opened a doorway to powerful energies of Jupiter and Saturn in conjunction. And that is happening exactly today, December 21st, 2020. After 200 years, 
of meeting in Earth signs, Jupiter and Saturn are beginning a 200-year cycle of meeting in air. The last time this same new cycle started was also in Aquarius in the year 1226. This movement from an earth sign to an air sign of Aquarius is shepherding in a whole new era. Ideas, lightness, flow, vibration, innovation, inventions, all centered around the social collective, around group harmony, around the big picture. Those two planets working together in this way, in this sign, are offering an expansion and form for the good of the whole. Also, Saturn and Jupiter are closer in the sky than they have been for the last 200 years. And they are appearing as a double star, like the star of Bethlehem. At this time of the winter solstice in the dark, our attention has permission to stop for a moment from the busyness of living and take notice of our lives, of what is happening around us. We take notice of what we are grateful for, of what we yearn for, of what is difficult and what is gracious. We consider life, that we are here, that we are present, that we are going forward. Because we are here together in the dark, coming together intentionally in the dark to be moved, to go deep, we have a great energy supporting us. We have our own hearts. We have the heart of the collective. We have the heart of the movement. We have the wisdom of the earth. We have the planetary alignments. For this solstice, which was exact at 5.02 a.m. New York time, please offer a prayer for yourself, for your own highest path to be clear and guiding you. Please offer a prayer for your family and loved ones, for their highest paths and well-being to prevail. Please offer a prayer for your community, which supports you in countless ways. Please offer a prayer for all the world's communities, for communities everywhere, for the circles of people everywhere, that harmony can prevail. Please offer a prayer for the earth, for all who live upon her, all beings, all the elements, all forms of consciousness everywhere. This solstice ushers in new energy for new ways of being. Truly allow an alignment of light to prevail, dissolving that which would keep destructive ways of being in This is a time for manifesting the changes that you want to see. 
your applied and conscious action will be answered by the expansiveness and the beneficence of Jupiter. Pay attention to what you are doing. There's a lot that can be accomplished. If you do the work, it will happen. Embody, act with deliberate, measured focus. Take responsibility. Every moment counts. Make the changes that will benefit you and others. Let go of what is not in alignment with your highest self. In your prayers and intention setting, allow movement out to include all people everywhere. Allow ripples to move out into the plants, into the animals, everywhere. All the continents, all the bodies of water, the entirety of the earth, and all that lies beyond the earth. May the vastness inform us deeply. I have a bowl of roses and I have a bowl of water that's been out all night under the stars. It's saturated in starlight. And I offer each of you to tune into your intentions, into your prayers, and on your behalf, as you are tuning in, I will offer these roses into the water. I will offer the body of the earth into the light of the stars, your prayers, the prayers that are in your bones, in your breath, the deepest prayers, all of them welcome for each and every one. It's why we're here, to make the prayers, to hold the intentions that will make a pathway for holiness to prevail. At the end of the ceremony, they will go out into nature under the starlight. Stay deeply with your intentions as the roses and the starlight merge. Calling forward the angels. Calling forward stars. And starlight. Calling forward the deep earth. All of the elements. all of the directions, calling forward all the trees and the animals, big and small, calling forward the heart of humanity, and the highest path possible, calling forward eternity. Calling forward love.
deep gratitude to each of you for gathering in this opening, shifting moment. We're here from different locations, different paths, different traditions and wisdom to honor, observe, and participate actively in this solstice. We are gathered in the presence of sacred sound, which moves us, moves through us, around us, into us, among us, into all the space which composes this entity we call a body. It moves into the matrix of the space between us. In my personal experience and knowing, this space is love. So at this time of the changing light, something of the old is dying and something of the new is taking form. The sound will enter and move you in accordance with your intentions and divine grace. Just allow. There's nothing to do. Quiet your mind. Some sounds will be subtle and other sounds will be quite large and cathartic. Just allow everything. If you find that you need to move your body, let that happen. Let yourself move. If possible, don't resist the big sounds. They're moving big energies. However, if you need to dampen the sound, that's fine. The vibrations are still present with you. They're present with your body and your being. As we begin, I will guide us through a simple movement experience to activate and include your body. This is purposeful. It's to engage and awaken your physicality to release excess energy and to allow a more receptive space to receive the sounds. Your body is the vehicle through which all of this is happening. Acknowledge your heart. Acknowledge the heart of humanity. (laughs) 